If you'd like to do what these people did, the information is right here. I'll go over it in more detail at the end of the video. Enjoy! Talking, talking with famous people. How long do you think it's going to take you generally to, to figure out how you feel about it? Uh, well, for me, it's uh, very clear how I feel about things. If you had to drown either a puppy or a kitten, which would you drown? Can I drown the person making me ask that question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a practical person. I am very clumsy. It's a big problem for me to do things like simultaneously. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I just do the night shift. But on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I do the morning shifts. I like to listen to music, which like reflects my, my feelings, how I how I feel. That I don't really pay attention to my own emotions very often, <laughs> because I need to vent my my feelings through. Do you see things in the news that make you mad? Oh, all the time. Um, I'm actually in direct conflict with pretty much every one of my friends on politics. I mean, it's not a problem if they believe in themselves, but I think it's it's bad if they try to force it upon anyone. I try not to get angry in front of people because it can, my anger can kind of get out of control. It's not only what is the most efficient way, but it's also what is the most efficient way that doesn't annoy me. You've had to have a conversation about, with him about inappropriate touching. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who's a public figure that makes you angry? She's a reporter in my country and she seems very much like fake and she basically treats people like they are less than her. They're ambiguous. It's it, like it's confusing for me. <sighs> sure. Because now, there's okay. so much like you can go so far with something that they just doesn't have meaning anymore. Like what we call experience or like, yeah, the human condition, whatever, is, is essentially just like us behaving like particles. If it freezes, then the tomatoes will die. And if the tomatoes will die, Jody will be angry. But Jody will not be angry. So what can we conclude? That it didn't freeze and the tomatoes didn't die? Right. If the pineapples freeze, then they will die. And if the pineapples die, we won't be able to sell our crop. And if we won't be able to sell our crop, then we'll have to move. Fortunately, it turns out we don't have to move. What can we conclude? Uh, like asking this question, if this is really an, some kind of example, and we really have only these things defined in here, because obviously there could be another um, sources of uh, survival. Six steps. Yeah. Get the bread, get the jelly, Get the peanut butter. Help people solve problems, and I feel good if I can help. Use a knife to spread the peanut butter on the bread. Spread the jelly on the peanut butter. If I get into that uh, teacher role, I really like that teacher role. Put the sandwich together and eat it. Okay. Even with the eye stuff, I think, I, but I can't. I can't really put it into words, but. A lot of times when I'm like confronted with like, let's say like a medical or like logical problem, I'm just like... How many uses can you think of for a bucket? Bucket? Um, obviously to like put stuff in. Um, you can flip it over, use it as a chair. How can I say it? I'm playing with like the intuitive ways and kind of yeah, I'm trying to like link it to like maybe another situation or something. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, I don't know. All the things I'm thinking of are things you put in it, so that would kind of be already the first thing I said. Um, that actually gave me a lot of insight into when I'm using or like some instances where I use SE. I know a lot of times like when I'm when I'm like. Let's say, like, I don't know, like, it's taking too long, like, when I'm annoyed or something, I'm just like, let, let's just do stuff, man, let's let just, let just get going. Write two lines of a poem off the top of your head involving the word pillow. Like it with rhyming.
a certain location for the first time, I think I'm using a lot of SE. I'm just like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I should go this route. It, it seems uh, shorter. And then a lot of times I just get lost or like I come like 20 minutes late. So. Well, obviously I it identified as a rooster at that point, but it started out as a hen. So. We experience is like the experience of a particle, just like a set of photos and not like one giant wave. You only see like. If asked of an ESTP or an ENTP, they'll probably pick a side. They'll say, it's a rooster or it's a chicken and argue that side because that's... Well, it's not a chicken. <laughs> okay, well, a hen. <laughs> that's TI right there. Extroverted intuition, even if it's not like, let's say 100% correct, I just like that metaphor. <laughs> are they identical? Yeah, they are. They are identical. Identical twins. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, less than one person chance. Do you think they have different personality types? Yeah, I do. You've got your particle functions, which are your metaphysical functions, and, and they occur on an internal and an external plane. But your wave functions, which are your physical functions, they occur on a uh, external and internal plane. First of all, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please thumbs up. If you'd like to get typed, it's just $100. You can publish it or it can be private. I have a substantial number of clients who do it privately and you never get to see them. It's 60 minutes face to face video conference. If you want to set it up, you just need to email or text me the time and day you want in LA time. I'm, my schedule is very open, so it could be whatever time. Uh, the one day that tends to fill up is Sunday. Stuartsire at gmail.com is my email address. That's my name, Eric Strauss, backwards, at gmail.com. And my phone number, 626-615-8751. If you do text me, please text me your email address, and we'll switch over to email to converse thereafter. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. Talking, talking with famous people.